Hello everyone. Welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about another scenario where we can utilize subtract statement or subtract verb. Okay. So if you remember in previous session, we discussed about the subtract statement like how we can utilize subtract in order to perform basic subtract operation, right? Where we discuss how we can directly uh, subtract one particular value. Okay. And also we discuss like how we can uh, remove value from uh, not remove subtract value from one variable to another. Uh, okay. So this session is in the continuation of the same where we will talk how we can utilize subtract statement with multiple variable okay so just assume uh, you are working on a project and there is a need to create some variable um, and store some values to it and then later in a one go you want to perform a subtract operation from uh, like one value we have that we have to subtract from multiple variable so in that case what we can do we can utilize the statement in a way that we are going to discuss today okay so we will proceed in the same manner firstly i'll walk you through the code we will understand each and every line written over the code in a simpler terms and then later we will discuss the main logic as well as the output of the program clear because understanding the requirement is very important thing code you can learn code you can copy from web as well but the main thing is we should know about the requirement and the syntax okay because once you are comfortable with that thing, because all these topics are, by looking at these topics, they are very simple. We are just doing the subtraction, right? Nothing hard. But when you actually perform it, when you are in a stuck in a project and there is a, some requirement, that moment, if you know, at least if you have created only one program in your life, then for sure it will give you idea that yes, we have this functionality that we can utilize in order to implement the code. Okay. So that's why we are going to discuss about this in a separate session but before we start the session i recommend you to please go and go and check out the previously released session because there we have already discussed all the basic things like what is uh, COBOL, how we can create program everything is in a sequenced manner okay so if you follow them sequentially then it would be really very easy for you to understand the ongoing topic okay so i think now we are good to start with the program so here i have already created the program with the name test pgm1 I'll quickly walk you through this code and we'll understand the requirement. So let's go to the code. Here if I take option 2 for edit mode, you will see the program uh, is started with the identification division block. Now what, what is the identification division block? Identification division block is mainly used to store the program identity related information. Here you can see we have program ID which is denoting program name. Then we have author, which is denoting author name. Okay, so whenever we want to stay, uh, whenever we want to save the information related to program identity, we will store it in the identification division block itself. Okay, right now I am just using only these two values, but if you want to store more values, you can store it in the same place. Afterwards, what we are doing, we have declared three comment line. So you can see here on line number five to line number seven, we have mentioned the comment line. So if I count from the very first position, you will count till seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So on seventh position, when you put asterisk, it will be considered as a comment line. Okay. So from line number five to line number seven, we have three comment line, which is just to show you the topic name. Now here I want to mention one thing. If you have not uh, if your comments are not coming in a white color, it's completely okay. Why? Because uh, here for color purpose, I have added some ex additional settings. So no problem like if it is in your system, if it is com coming with a normal color or the default color, let's say if you are using green screen, so it, it would come in the green color. So it's completely okay. But the thing is, important thing is that you, you should have, uh, you should put a stick on the seventh position itself. All right, so I think now we are good with it. So I, I think it's time to move further. So here you can see we have data division block. What is the data division block? So when you want to declare some data variables for your program, then in that case, you will declare the data variables under the working storage section of data division. Okay, so working storage section is the area where we will declare each and every variable that we are going to utilize for our program. 
okay so here you can see we have declared three variable because for this demo I just need three variables so I declare it here and how we are declaring the variables firstly we are specifying the level number so you can see we have level number as 01 which is denoting a higher data hierarchy then we have variable name or data name so whenever you want to access this variable throughout the program you will use the same variable name or data name which is profit1 then we have PIC denoting picture clause 9 of 4 means numeric 4 digit where 9 is representing numeric data type and 4 is representing the length of your variable then we are using optional clause which is value clause so as I always mention value clause is optional clause if you want to specify any particular value at the time of declaration or if you want to initialize the value then in that case you will utilize the value clause otherwise you can skip it but for this example yes we do need to uh, we do need uh, initialization of the value and that's why I'm using value clause here so you can see on line number 12 we have declared on, on line number eight, yeah on line number 12 we have declared the variable profit one which can hold up to four digit numeric value got it fine now if you look at the 13th line number here what we are doing we are declaring the level number as same 0 1 variable name is profit 2 same data type 9 of 4 numeric 4 digit and value is value is also same 50 so it is up to you like if you want to change the value it is completely okay but for this example I just want to go with these values so that's why I have declared accordingly okay now after that we have declared the third variable with same almost same thing only the values change level number is same 0 1 denoting higher data hierarchy variable is profit 3 picture clause 9 of 4 numeric 4 digit okay so these are the three variables which we have declared and then now we are good to utilize them in the program so it's time to write the mail logic the mail logic is always uh, placed under the procedure division okay so let's see what we are doing in the procedure division Firstly, we are specifying the we are displaying the actual value without any modification. Okay, so just to show you the proper output, um, like when we call the program, there should be something that we can check in order to find out the before after image of the code. Okay, so that's why I'm utilizing the display command to show you the first thing. Okay. <coughs> okay. So yeah, I think now we are good to. Uh, now we are good to start with uh, the display part so display profit one value before any modification is profit one we are just appending the value uh, with these variable at the end likewise we have printed for the profit two and profit three so what these three line will do it will print the value profit one profit two and profit three without any modification prior any modification okay now on line number 22 we are using the subtract keyword or statement okay so here I'm using subtract statement so subtract profit 1 from profit 2 and profit 3 as I mentioned topic is easy we know how to perform uh, subtraction but what syntax we have to follow how we have to follow what are the advantages what are those conditions where we are, we are supposed to use it that we are going to discuss in this session okay so when you want to perform a particular value from multiple variable then in that case you will utilize the subtract statement in this format firstly the statement would be there then the value which you want to subtract from and then the list of variable from which you want to remove it or subtract it okay so in this case let's see the value right now we have initialized the 50 to profit 1 so firstly it will remove uh, it will uh, subtract 50 from profit 2 so profit 2 is also containing 50 so 55 minus 50 is 0 then profit 1 minus uh, profit 3 so pro pro profit 3 is uh, containing 60 so 60 minus 50 is 10 so in this situation we will get two output in profit 2 we will get 0 and in profit 3 because we are not using any specific variable right that's why the value would be stored in the same variable so output would be uh, 0 and 10 so we are just verifying the same by displaying it so here I'm utilizing display profit 2 value after profit 1 is subtracted is profit 2 profit 3 value after profit 1 is subtracted is profit 3 and then we are using stop print to terminate the program so let's quickly compile the program and see the output
so after a call you will see profit one value before any modification is 50 profit two value before any modification is 50 likewise profit three value before any modification is 60 now profit two value after profit one is subtracted is zero and profit three value after profit one is subtracted is 10 okay so yeah this is how we can utilize the subtract statement in order to perform of subtract operation from multiple variable in a one go i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share method